He who puts his hands on the plow and keep looking back is not worthy of the kingdom of God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. I'm happy to have you once again on this channel. If this is your first time seeing me or deciding to click on my videos, thank you so much. I pray this video becomes an encounter for you in the name of Jesus. And if this is not your first time, thank you family for always coming back. The Lord woke me up this morning with this word for someone. He says, I should tell you, keep looking forward keep going ahead there is nothing behind there for you there is nothing in your past for you keep looking forward to the great things that he has in store for you this word is coming because someone right now you are thinking you're asking yourself am i on the right path am i doing the right thing did i make the right decision to follow god maybe it would have been better where i'm coming from like how the egyptians were telling god that it was better in egypt at least we had garlic and cucumber to eat because they were in a transition period of their lives they were in a transition period they were moving from egypt to the promised land which was their land of rest their land flowing with milk and honey but trapped in the wilderness they could not they could not handle the situation they started feeling like they were better in egypt where they had Cucumber and garlic. How can you compare cucumber to milk and honey that is in your land of rest? God says, I should tell you, keep looking ahead. Right now, you are just in this transition period. You are just in a transition period, and very soon, you're going to enter your Canaan land. Very soon, you're going to enter your land of promise. But it is for people who do not look back. It is for people who keep going ahead, who keep trusting God for tomorrow. They keep going ahead. You know, what happened to Lot's wife was she was being rescued from a land that was about to get destroyed. She was being rescued because of Abraham's intercession for her family. But she looked at all the glories of Sodom and Gomorrah. She looked at all they had. They were rescuing them to give them life. But she looked at the properties they were living because they left without carrying all of their properties. And we were made to understand that that was a rich land. The, the land was rich. That is the reason why, that's one of the reasons why um, Lot even accepted to go to that land. He chose that land when him and Abraham they were deciding on how to dis to divide. He chose Sodom and Gomorrah because it, 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 it the land looked very promising. And so while in the land they had amassed their world, they had amassed their riches, and Lot's wife could not just Lot's wife could not just understand why they were going to abandon everything and run away for safety. God was rescuing them to a better place. God was rescuing them, saving their lives because someone interceded. And he told them, do not look back. Do not look back means no regrets. This is a good decision I am doing for you. I am rescuing you because I'm about to destroy that land. I am saving you. But do not look back. Do not regret. Trust the decision I have taken. Trust the decision I have taken to remove you out of that land. Do not look back. Keep going. Lot's wife could not understand that God was rescuing them. Lot's wife could not just keep going. She was full of regret when she left. She didn't know the plan of God. That is why in our work with God, you must trust God. When he tells you to move, move. When he says, keep going, keep going. Lot's wife looked back in regret and she became a pillar of salt. She became a pillar of salt. She didn't leave to see where God was taking her family to. Someone right here, you're watching me right now, and your life is in a kind of it's a place of transition. It's in a place of transition, and for you keep thinking, should I go back to my former life? Do I go back? At least when I was in the world. Someone sent me a mail and she was like, my friends are getting married, my, the people around me, they are living well, and apparently it seems like my life is just getting worse and worse and worse. And what I told her by the leading of the Spirit, it's not about now. We are looking at the future. It's not about now. The Bible says the blessings of God make it rich and adds no sorrow. Ask those people who are flourishing out there, the people who do not have Jesus. There's always a place where they are lacking, where they are believing God. But what God wants to do for you is to give you all-round happiness, all-round prosperity, all-round. And that's going to be possible. That's why he's taking his time to prepare you. The things that are going to be a problem to your growth, to your blessing, he's taking his time to prepare you and shed you off those things. He's getting you ready to get into your promised land. This is just a transition point. This is just a transition. Do not look back, else you're going to 
become a pillar of salt like it happens to Lot's wife. Keep going. He who puts his hands on the plow and keeps looking back is not worthy of the kingdom of God. You are not worthy of the inheritance. You are not worthy of the promises of God. Keep going ahead. That is what, where your reward is. Your reward lies ahead. It doesn't matter what was in the past. You left that life a long time ago. You are now a new creation. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Be antici Anticipate what God has for you. Be enthusiastic about what is coming in the future. What you are going through right now is always preparing you for what God has for you in the future. Take it in good faith. Trust God. Believe him to make everything beautiful in its time. The Bible says God makes everything beautiful in its time. In its time. When the time of your promise is ripe, when the time is here, I promise you, you will not remember the days. Maybe you went without eating. You will not remember the days you slept alone in your house because you did not have a kingdom spouse. You will not remember. Better than getting married early is than getting married to the right person. Yes, maybe all of your friends are getting married right now and you are the only single one in the fold. It's not just about getting married. It's about marrying right. Getting the right partner, partner for you. It's not just about making money. People make money in all illegal forms, in all sorts of illegal ways. But they can't even sleep at night. It's not about making money. It's about getting rich. It's about becoming wealthy in this, with the standards of God. Just how God wants you to be. That is how the blessings of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow because they come in the right channel, through the right channel. I pray for everyone that is watching me right now. You're in a transition period of your life and things seem so difficult. I pray for you. May the Lord show up for you where he needs to show up in the name of Jesus. Receive the grace to go through your process in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not get tired. You shall not get weary. You shall not feel discouraged on this journey in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you.